Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. Hello everyone, Stephanie here, and today I'd like to talk to you about growing peas in Arizona, and especially what to look out for to prevent this. As you can see, the plant has significant discoloration, more of a yellow than green, and this could be diagnosed a couple of ways. But first, I'm going to talk about how to prevent disease in peas common to the Southwest. After a bit of research, I found that peas are a very delicate garden variety, especially when it comes to the soil. Apparently, peas are very susceptible to soil-borne disease. A few simple ways to prevent those diseases. First, you're gonna to wanna to plant the peas in dry, cool weather. I was a little antsy this year and planted earlier and the peas endured quite a bit of rainfall. This is really not good for the pea plant because it only requires one inch of water per week. If you overwater the peas, that's when these soil-borne diseases flourish, not to mention root rot. And finally, water early like most plants to ensure that deep roots can absorb water and the plant can dry before night. If the pea plant is wilting in the afternoon or at the end of the day, that's okay. Most likely it will perk up by morning. I made this mistake also. Another tip for watering pea plants, when the plant does need watering, soak it. It likes one big gulp as opposed to frequent light waterings. I've decided to transplant this particular pea separately as not to affect my survivors. For the official pea plant diagnosis, come back again next week and we'll see how the plant progresses.